Let's talk about getting beyond bitterness in our lives. Beth Moore has said that bitterness is a spiritual cancer, a rapidly growing malignancy that can consume your life. Bitterness can't be ignored, but it must be healed at the very core, and only Christ can heal real deep bitterness. Well, I'm one of the ones spiritually that believes that bitterness does manifest in the physical body. It takes over at a cellular level, and it can eventually destroy the body unless you get rid of it and get rid of it early. 1 Corinthians 7, 17 says this, Don't be wishing you were with someone else, someplace else, where you are right now is God's place. Live and obey and love and believe right there. So this is teaching that right where you are is holy ground. And right where you are is the place to make dramatic spiritual changes. You don't have to wait till you're in the temple or the cathedral. You can do it right where you are, in your own living room, in front of your own TV. Bitterness will destroy you if you let it. So, my friend, don't let it. If you're caught up in bitterness, if you're caught up in anger or regret, well, you know all too well the destructive power of these emotions. Can you rid yourself of them? And if so, how? Well, first, in a prayerful way, ask God to free you once and for all from these feelings. And then, learn to catch yourself whenever these thoughts of bitterness begin to creep up in your mind. The goal is this, to learn to resist negative thoughts before they hijack your emotions. So the next time you find yourself slipping into the quicksand of bitterness, pull yourself out before you get too deep, before you get stuck, and do your best to keep your past where it belongs, in the past. It's better to forget than to have regret. I pray for you that you are on the road today right where you are to a life without bitterness and without pain. I pray that inside of you there is a heaven dwelling. No matter where you are physically, you are in the presence of God and you're in the presence of joy and ease and well-being. I pray that you're touched by God and you're healed by God of any and all bitterness inside of you. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.